It's good the racers are back. Just talking to the boys, they're doing circuit here. So we're going to go up above them and then we'll get Marshall back out later on. Have a look at the colour of South Creek. This, look. Whoa. If it wasn't a ski boat race, I'd, I'd actually hang around here. See, they're right on that colour edge, so they're in a prime spot. You got the fish bag out, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with you guys. We'll wait for a race to stop. Come through. We know the drill. Yeah. No, we're just glad to see you guys back on the water. Yeah. It was instant, eh? Do it again. Steam. Fly off the bank. Yeah, but fly off the bank and hit that little lure. Yep, right hard on the edge. Nice. Oh, we gotta get our pliers and everything out. We might do that. I'll turn you off and get prepared. That was cool. There we go. I watched him swimming out. That's what we come up here yeah, for. The other thing is, it's good to get fish on this strip. Yep. We, like we, said, we, don't. we don't get fish here. But floods change the river, don't they? Right, number one, not big. They look like pro boats to me. Oh, it could be, they can eel trap up here, can't they? Yeah, yeah they've they got to be pros, hey, definitely. It could be SES. Yeah. He should know better. Yeah, slow down. <laughs> Look, that's a great photo. Did you Wait, got it? Yeah, I got it on film. Oh, yeah, show them where we're at. So everyone knows. Well, this is the breakaway. We're above Windsor. We're above Windsor, it's the breakaway. It's quite dangerous actually because the floods change all the river bottoms. And what were they? Environmental reefers. Unbelievable. Full noise. Coming Hello. down here. No way. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We got pulled over. Oh, all the rules. They made poor old water cop and drive all the way from Wiseman's Ferry yeah. because of someone complaining about us. What are they doing? Well, those other two boats must have been connected with them as well. Who knows? You know, just hit the edge. I thought, oh, it's a bit... Hey, have I got a perch? Bullshit. Oh, no, it's a bass. It's a nice bass, though. Bass? Yeah. Didn't take long, though. I just... I hit that... See that... Where those sort of yabby holes are? Oh, I must have dirty enough, too. Yeah, you were on the outer, and I thought, oh, I'll go back in. Still, that's a better fish. Yeah, much better. Better. Like 20, 30. Mm. Fat too, healthy. It's got that calmness where the fish should be there. Well this is, you can pull up by a car here and land by, so this is really good. So hard to find spots for people to land by shit. You know what? No, land by No, they're over and stop. Yep. Okay. Shake up. Nice. And this is. Where are we? Breakaway. Yeah. On the terrace road. So you can just pull up this car gun past there. You can just pull up, flick in here on the edges. Oh, yeah, the insect hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Ben's going, look at the flies, look at the flies, and I'm staring at them. Well, there had to be fish here somewhere. And then I cast in and see there's a current flow going past there too, so he's waiting under the tree. Mate, I was looking at the flies. You're looking at the flies. Cast, I should have cast. Yeah. If I'd cast. You would have had him. Maybe. And then I'm sitting there staring and this I wasn't even moving the lure, he's just come up and belted it. He's about the same as the other one. That's 
See, they look like perch, don't they? It's not, it's a bass. He's better than the other one. He's a nice fish. He's a relocator. Oh well, that's awesome because we've seen so many land-based spots that we normally don't fish. There's water flowing through there. See the river? See the water going through? Yeah, I like that drain. Yeah, that was about two inches under the surface and he took it. Now that one followed all the way out. That was the first one to go. So he's smaller and hungrier. Smaller, hungrier, and I've landed him nearly to the boat. We've only been in like areas we don't normally fish. So I look at it like it's pretty good. And are you going one more time? I'm because all right, I'm all right. All right, I'll take your fish. Yeah. He was right out in current. You know what? It's like the other one. So I had four strikes, four fish on the diver. Ben's had three strikes for no fish on the surface. And then I followed each time and can't catch that fish. They're not having a second. If you miss them, there's no second dig. <laughs> oh, it's fuck all. Uh, got an editing up now that goes quack quack. Yeah, right. hit me like a big fish. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at my bass, Ben. Oh, what a You can uh, always go <laughs> take the surface lure off. I like and didn't you say you were ashamed to put a cicada on and then you put a cicada on and then... Yeah, well it's addictive. It's cool. <laughs> so is that. They you belted that. that. I didn't even have the camera on and that just smashed it. That was the one Ben's been waiting for. It's not even that big. No, he just stacked you. God, it hit like a Highlander. Yeah. Right, are you happy now you got your first cicada fish? Yeah. No, it's not bad. That's on the soft shell cicadas. They're just a... Well, we call them a beginner's lure, don't we, Ben? Hey? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> they catch fish, mate. Yeah. Use them. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the cicada. It is a beginner's lure. That's the easiest thing to do, is just throw it on the surface, twitch it. And if you don't catch one, do it again. Where? Yeah. Oh, you just dove back down. Yeah, there he is, there. Right. There. Oh. What's wrong with you, mate? Yeah, he's not real well, is he? I caught a uh, baby black snake in my yard yesterday. I'll put him, can you take me to the bank? I'll just put him up on the bank. I just hope that they do all right. Oh, you snagged. I'm going to have to throw him. Here, buddy. Stay there. Good. All right, you dry out, get your energy back, buddy. G'day, mate. How are you? How are you guys going? Good. You got depth sounder on that thing? Yeah. You're only 10 foot now. No, oh, no. The river's changed. The river's changed heaps. Yeah. Another surface thing. Short, mate. Oh. You're just talking yourself up as a fisherman, and then what are you doing? It's an actual technique, isn't it? No, no, it is. You call it a dead stick. <laughs> that was bad. That's the... <laughs> Go on, there's no pattern to it. You just do the miles and you get the smiles. You turn the camera off and there's a bash. That's a pretty good fish. Chunky little guy. Ah, <sighs> just when you thought the surface was gonna really kick on again. No, it's a tandem effort. I know.
That's, that's the first one I've stolen off you. Second. Second. Getting rid of the hook. Yeah, that's the second the quicker he's going to eat the next time. I notice when I watch my videos, we're always dropping fish, but like when you hold them, but you don't realise how we don't want to crush them no. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's why they always you think, why is grown men have them slip out of their hands? That's because we don't want to crush the no, fish I either. Yeah. And then I, I did an experiment once where oh, I got two little bass like this, yeah. and one I pinched the mouth, and the other I held like this over the tongue oh, and the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it, I come home, I put him in a tank. The one I pinched the mouth was a bigger fish than the other by a centimetre. He didn't eat for like a month. The other one got bigger than him and then bullied him and then he never sort of recovered. So yeah, just looking after the fish you let go is important. Explosion, man. Oh. What an awesome hookup! Two to the surface, but that was just. I'll give you three fish for that one surface strike. I'm, only, I'm not running the camera on the strikes, but that one was an explosion. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. The last two strikes you've had have committed. Couldn't steal that one on you. I'll take that. Yep. Nice. That's the biggest fish of the day, mate. It's a nice fish. Yeah, I actually no, I'll take it back, I'll give you two cool. two fish for that one. Happy days. Hey. I got the flies in. That's why I kept going with this. Just yeah. for the boom. Yeah, the, the no one's gonna actually experience that on this camera because I didn't film it, but that was awesome. Some chunky little guys yeah, over there, eh? Yeah. It's just the way they're hitting them. Yeah, another chunky thing. Yeah. Little but fat. Yeah, well. It's just an open water. It's good looking water. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was a I fish. heard that. I had to be a fish there. Yeah. Well, pump site number two is yeah, drawn. It's all about the shade. Yeah. Structure. Nice one. I've gone to a beetle spin for two reasons. One, I can't work out why we keep, they won't come back for a second dig. I'm thinking maybe they will on this. Yeah. And the other is, if we're not getting a second go at them, how many are we fishing over? We're just that little bit of flash. Yeah, well, yeah. Something a bit slower, maybe. Yeah, well, we're going through the whole gauntlet of beginner lures and one works the best I think there's got to be one here oh yep okay. oh, I'm letting it here right that's the one oh no they normally come back. oh yep hey I got a double double hook double strike you haven't caught him yet though I didn't want him <laughs> good on you I do I'm going to see if this <laughs> I'll just see if this catches it <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to steal every fish that you draw. Yeah, got my first double. Look at that. Oh, yeah, got, oh, tiny one, yeah. yeah. All right. Yep, yeah, got him. Got All right. How many fish could have we, extra fish could have we had if one of us put this on? <laughs> Look at the tiny. He's tiny. Yeah, I, I don't care. It's a theory of fishing. And especially, I mean, there's too many masterclass bass fishing videos out there. This is a beginner's video. Look at that. We got a, a fish off a draw, which is the first time that's happened all day. And it felt like... Because he was so small and dumb. Yeah. I can understand why you didn't want him. I didn't say that because I missed him. But now I've got this sitting there. You know that. Well, I was running... Yeah, but I was running the diver and the crab. I couldn't get anything behind you. Now when you draw those fish, I'm going to steal every one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, want to hook I want to land every fish, I don't care how big it is. So here's a good tip for beginners too, is like if your mate's fishing something like that, just wait till he misses a fish and then cast in on it. Steal, too late. 
No, you can. You can now. Nah, the wind's got me. It's going to rain. Yep. Oh, that sounds amazing. That's the chop sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's one of the things that you want to try and get with these beetle spins is the sound hitting the water. So it's just going to trigger them. I don't know whether I should cast back. back. He's over back. Yeah. 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 Often they won't trigger until they go over the log. Yeah. No. I'll leave you that. I'll go straight. Uh, come on, come on, come on. You don't get a strike there, it's virtually not worth me casting. That looks amazing. That's where I thought we'd get a fish. Yeah. I mean, look what you just did. Yep. When you run like a, the two lures through like that, you just keep moving. Oh, I just slowed roll the beetle spin off that bank and bang. This is why they're great lures to get started. The search and destroy lures, like you, your beetle spin, your cicada, your diver, you can take the front again. Leave it out of them. Oh, he shot out off that bank just there. But see, it's all like hard bank, yabby holes. It's the same sort of MO. Yeah. You've got overhanging trees. Yeah, it's the same MO as before. Oh, and you're using a mono leader, eh, for the surface? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I've got fluorocarbon on because oh, of the, the, the spinner. Better. Yeah, I brought a spool to change. Oh, you cursed me then, look. What? Oh, I just got a. Is that this loading? No, we've got a beetle spin on. Oh, right. Oh, I've got it now. Just got my first wind knot for the day. That's the other thing, like, novice fishermen have got to realise is they've got to keep an eye on that line because as soon as you get... Oh! Silver flash all the way to the boat then. Yeah. You've got to keep an eye on that line because if you get that overrun... Yeah, yeah. Next cast. Now that spinner hit the bottom and he's had a follow. Right there. Come on, come on. So the cicada is, and if you're here, yeah, there they are. There. there they are. Why is the cicada such yeah, a beautiful lure? Yeah, he's. Could afford a bit more than that, mate. The surface lures have caught the biggest fish. Like this beetle spin's getting little tiddlers. But if you miss one of them, I'll have him. I will have him. Yeah, he's a good fish. Malvin, I just want to have a quick look. Is his eye alright? Looks weird. Oh, that eye's buggered. Show us. Must function. Yeah, he's got a. Yeah. Been caught before with eye. Alright. Um, Still. Can Since I've gone off the diver, that's really making a comeback, so. I got a little jack, I'm gonna run a jackal. It's not really a beginner's lure, but I just need to know. Yep. I dropped the first one. Yeah. That's what, three, four casts with my jackal. I only say this isn't a beginner's lure because of the price of it and the fact that you're sinking straight into structure with it. You want to fight? Yeah. Uh, no, about four. He's a nice fish. I missed the first fish. I got a little one and then, then this. He's a nice, hey, he's a chunk. Yep. Oh yeah, you won't be lifting them bigger than that. Okay. You are a nice Wait, come on, sir. Hey, come on, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, he's got, he's got a back one. He's still he? green. Yeah, he's got thickness to him, but there must have been a school. Right. That's the little jackal that I've been using, that I just put on. I started with the brown dog. We had a crab, a frog, 
and a beetle spin and Benny Cicada. And that's what um, slowly getting as a result. Too easy. Oh, I see you, mate. Just sip it off the top. As soon as the cicadas have got chirping. Oh, look. What? Got oh, hold on, hold on. I got the vibe here. Yeah, but... Has he still got mates? No. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. How many was with you? Oh, they're about four. Well, that's the first time they've schooled. I reckon that last fish I caught was school fish. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, I'm a little bit baffled now because the cicada's working too good. I'm not going to hear them. We haven't heard cicadas for a year. Mm. Let's just wait till the cicadas kick again. Oh, there's one. Then two. Have I got him? Yeah, I got him. Hey, he plug bass. <laughs> but I put that on and you had that little hot streak and then it just... The cicada shut down and that's the first strike since. <laughs> well they got grossed out with my needle thing. I was going to make a surface lure out of the needle and one out of a tampon. Because I just wanted to see it pop in its mouth. Mm, lead pies. That's a hook. All right, one to the ear popper, which is a dollar lure with a hook in it. Oh, yours right. is gone. Right. That's right. a weird strike. Right. Yeah. Oh, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Oh, he talked himself up. No, but I've got the cause. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 but where's the fish? I didn't see it. Does not matter? Does not matter. Was the fish interested in what we I want to go back to stealing them with the beetle spin. Up in here. I only want to get one more on this and then I'm done. Let's go back to something else. Come on. Water doggy. <laughs> that was right up the back. Yep, on instant. They don't seem to come out to the earplug, but if I hit it on the edge where they are, they'll, they go it. Like they're chasing out for that cicada a little bit further, but if I get that like shale there, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I was going to say. Usually that's getting me a result. So they're not they're not chasing it out like your cicada, but they can't help myself with the um, hmm. with it hitting the the bank. So it just goes show. I should use it like a squash ball and hit the bank, bounce off. Hey, hey. Yeah, you can take the front again now because oh, some. Oh. Oh. That's in the boil. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's my ear plug in action. So, if we're going to do a few more beginner lures, I might do a, uh, a weedless plastic. Because that truly is a beginner's lure and, and it's also for the highly experienced. So I might just throw one of them in for a while. They're the soft plastics you want to buy. Paddle tail, Atomics. Don't get caught up with all the bullshit. And this is so simple. Ball sinker, worm hook, rubber. 
Remind me I've got to rig up a beetle spin on camera too so people get a gist of it. It's sort of foreign to most people. I'll just pin that in so it runs smooth. See what happens. The bass is faster than the water doggy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially when they see a scared animal from another animal, they just Oh, I was about to say, where did they go? Yeah, they haven't gone yeah, anywhere. Right. Oh, we knew that. That was that was <laughs> that was the structure that's just been producing. Oh, that cicada's just hot at the moment. That looks very fishy over there. Oh, he got it. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Oh. Got him that time. Oh, oh I just no. got shredded. No. That's me worm hook slider rig. No. I just got shredded, man. No. Oh, look, it got half my leader. What did he get me over there? I don't know, but I probably would have busted the moon. But that's a beginner's lure that that extremely experienced anglers will use as well because it does that. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was uh, a shame I didn't land it, but at the same time, <laughs> there's a reason why we use that lure. I think when you're fishing these uh, worm hook rigs, you've got to get that mentality to start hitting the bank. Here he is. Yeah. Come on, why haven't I got him? Now why? Oh, oh that's because he's right next there. I was going to say, why is that the structure that we've just put money on to have fish on it? And Oh, I missed mine. He was there as well. There are a few decent ones, like around that 30 mark. Yeah. yeah well, that one that bricked me was probably the... The biggest. Yeah, yeah. We know where he lives though. No, you don't. He lives on that log down there. Yeah, yeah that log down there. <laughs> That's my spot. Yeah, yeah. That's what beginners have got to realise too. There's no such thing as a spot. If it looks good, it probably is good. Yeah, and thousands of people have thought that already. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing but a disappointment when you think you own a spot. <laughs> Then you come down there one day and some yobbo like us is on it and it's like, oh, this is my spot. No, nah, mate. It's the river. If you're the sort of guy that just wants to says, I just want to catch a fish, any fish, I don't care. Bass fishing's for you. Because as soon as you catch one, then you're going to go, I want one more, just one more. And bass fishing's for you. Oh, so there's a silver all the way out then. And then you catch that one and then you go, I just want a bigger one. Bass fishing's for you. <laughs> oh, we caught so many fish. We're still going that way and not heading home. Like, I just want one more. You got under that. You're not a bass fisherman unless you go, there's gotta be a fish there a hundred times a day. There wasn't a fish there, Ben. I bet you there was once. The magic. Screw it up good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Two things you do with this garlic dye, guys, is you screw your lid up super tight. And the other thing is you only dip, dip your tail. Yeah. Cause yeah. they explode. Look at that, instant yeah. color charm. Yeah, what a, what a difference. Yeah, yeah. And it gets rid of the skanky smell yeah, I got yeah, yeah. at the same time, so. I bet you it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I bet you if my cast were better, it would. One hooked. 
I did. I realised I was just going too slow with them. I wasn't. They were biting, and I wasn't sort of speeding up, making bounce on. There you have it. Just a little worm hook rig. I finally got a fish on it. Come on, down. No, I dropped every fish so far. I've got, I've hooked up the best fish all day. I got bricked on one. I popped the hooks on another. Finally got one in. That was two bites in two casts, eh? Yeah. I thought, no, I'm not going to cast there. I'm going to cast <laughs> over here. That's because, because I know where to catch my bass. Yourself, mate. I know. She's eat the water. And guess what? There was none where I thought there might be. Big seagull nest. Yeah. Awesome. That's what I want to see. Is he in it? Yeah, he is too. Oh, look, he's in it. Hello. Hello. He's looking at us. Hello. I will try and get you a fish, mate. You want a fish? Get him one. Is that a baby or an adult in there? I don't know. But it's a big bird. Nah, it's got a bit. That's a baby. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's only just got uh, wings. Right up there, you can see. Yeah, he's walking right around the nest just keeping his eyes on us. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. There's a bass in there, I missed him. Off. I looked there, thought that's a nothing looking spot. Cast out. Look, it's ripped the tail off. Oh. Got hammered. Yeah. Feel that one? Yeah, have a go. A bit short. Hmm. Here they see cat. Oh, got him. Got him? Yeah, I dropped him. Oh. He did come back though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll switch back over the beetle spin. Oh, right. Because oh, I lost my rubber tail. Yeah. Oh. There's that current again. So you can nearly mark that spot down because there was no current. So it must be, something must be sweeping around it. Oh, look at that. Get him, get him, get him, get yeah. him, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah, watched him come out of the trees on that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. No, nah, it's not. We got bigger than this, yeah. You know what's scary though, he's a South Creek bass because he's got that uh, South Creek fin. Oh, well done. Yeah, look. Mongi fin. Oh, yeah. We never had that 10 years ago before Liberal State Government come in. We never had that. We never had a saw on our fish. This is Lewis I've run today. No joy. No joy. Uh, this one. Probably got my best fish. That drew some really good fish. A little beetle spin. Now the beetle spin, that's the beetle spin there. Alright? That's it. Oh. You get him? Quarter ounce jig head. And I've got a number two, it should be a number one hook oh. on it. Oh. You heard him that time. <laughs> Just touches like that. As soon as it hits the water, you want to start winding it and slow it down. If you can see the beetle spin, you, you, you're fishing too quick. And uh, what else? Oh, here was my other lure. This caught most of my fish today. I haven't used it the last two, three hours. Just a little diving lure. That one's a, in particular is a jackal chubby. Let's see, those two are um, jackals diving. That's a crab, uh, crusty crab, seaman frog, atomic uh, paddle tail, so about the paddle tail, a 1 0 worm hook, double O ball sinker, size 2 beetle spin, and a jig head. And Benny's just smashed it with his cutters all, all, all day. Right, don't mix your crusty crabs with your Z-Man rubbers. With your Berkeley rubbers, because everything will melt.
loving it. They're beasts, aren't they? They're all in. Oh no, he's an outboard. There you go, outboard, inboard, inboard, inboard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's no better noise than that inboard, though. You look like one of those typical jet ski hoons. <laughs> yeah, real typical. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Lebanese and you're not 20. No. <laughs>